Today we're here to uh, cook a taco bake in the Dutch oven outside, camping all the time. We, I actually use the Dutch oven as a oven, and I'll show you how to do that in this video. The things we're going to use today, the utensils, the chimney, Dutch oven, hog pan to put our Dutch oven in, charcoal, 12 inch cast iron skillet, camp stove, our aluminum foil to uh, so we don't have to wash as many dishes. And then the ingredients we're going to use today, of course, uh, Jiffy Mix, milk, eggs, taco seasoning, cheese, hamburger, and an onion or two. We'll put all these ingredients together. We'll start our coals, and then we'll start our hamburger. The coals take a little longer. We'll get our hamburger cooked and uh, seasoned, and the onions cooked and seasoned. And uh, then we'll get our, our cornbread going. And put it all together. All right, put our coals in our chimney. Got a little paper down here, like that, get that going to get our coals good and hot. We'll only need 18 to 20. But uh, I always, I have plenty. And that, I use the hog pan so things don't burn up the ground. And when I start seeing my coals on top get white, then I'll know I'm ready to start my my Dutch oven. And that. All right, get our onion cut up here, and that. No doubt, there's many other people out here better at cutting onions than I am. Just have my way of getting it done. On my seasoned. Dutch oven or cast iron skillet or onions in here and get that going. And we'll get our hamburger going. We're using ground chuck. Don't use the most lean, but and that part of the goodness of this is having that little bit of a a little bit of your flavoring going down into the cornbread at the end of it. But you'll re we'll realize and get to that at the when we start eating. Make a corn muffin mix just like you would normally in a 12 inch Dutch oven like we use. It'll take two of these and uh, so two, two boxes of corn muffin mix, two thirds cup of milk, and two eggs. I'll mix it all in here first and get a good eyeball. More about the love than it is the measurements. Okay, I cheat a little bit. I put aluminum foil down inside my Dutch oven. Make my cleanup a lot easier to deal with afterwards. Then it doesn't affect the cooking at all. One of the secrets I've learned is you got a dull side and a shiny side of the aluminum foil. I always put my dull side down down and the reason why is the doll will less likely to reflect the, the heat. Don't know if it's true, but it makes sense in my head. And just go ahead and put your corn muffin mix right in there. As soon as our coals are ready, 
we'll put that on. Okay, now we get we're getting back down here to our meat. We'll get our taco seasoning in there and then let this cook for a little while longer. I prefer the El old El Paso. It's my preference. Your preference is whatever you like. I just find this gives it the best flavor. And the most hard time to open up. And I do a package per pound. First off, we're going to get our cornbread cooking. And then you start to cook cornbread, get about halfway done before you put your hamburger taco meat on. Um, but to do that, explain the cooking on a Dutch oven. How many coals you put down below and on top makes a difference on how much, how what kind of heat. We're needing about 350 for about 20 minutes. Well, 350. for 30 minutes is uh, eight to 10 coals on bottom. And that, and, uh, and about 18 to 20 on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got 10 coals on bottom. Put your Dutch oven right on top of there. And we're gonna put about 18 coals or so, 18 to 20 coals on top. Now you know why my Dutch ovens aren't always well seasoned. On that. I'm gonna spread them out there. 18 to 20 will be. And using our handy backup pliers, channel locks, because we changed campers this year and haven't Put everything back in its normal places just yet. The fun of working and living out of a fifth wheel RV. Yeah, looks about like 18 or 20. That'll do. The rest of your coals, you're done with, you don't need. Just put them up so they can finish cooking and not burn anything else down. Okay, so about every five minutes, we're going to want to turn this. And in about, it takes about 15, 20 minutes to cook cornbread. So in about seven, eight minutes, we're going to open this up and add our meat. So, but we want to turn this every three to five minutes. So that it keeps our coals even. Try to help our Dutch oven not have hot spots. And that, and we'll show that as we go. Okay, so now it's time to add our meat to our cornbread. Take the layer off for a moment. I'm just making sure nothing is stuck to the bottom. Here we go, we're gonna get all of our meat. Come here and just pour it right on top of your your cornbread. Mm. Spread it out. Okay, 
Then add your cheese. You can put as much as little as you want. We're gluttons for punishment, so we put it all on there. And then put your lid back on. And then when, you know it's done when your cheese has got a good crust all the way across it. Alright, yep, here it is. All done, crusted up cheese. Amazing looking, can't wait. We'll get rid of our coals. So we're ready to eat this now. We'll dish this up. We use uh, um, a little bit of sour cream and salsa to each person's taste. Amazing dish. Taco meat, cornbread, and cheese. Just amazing delicious. You can see how the how some of the salts and the grease and that floated down into the cornbread. Excellent flavors. 